Hi, my name is Marion Calmer. I'm a farmer from uh, Western Illinois. I've been doing independent on-farm research for about 40 years, been no-tilling for 35 years, and this is another one of the segments in our series on uh, nutrient stratification. So uh, in the research, I found out that even though I'd spread $50 a, an acre worth of uh, P and K, uh, that I'd maybe only get like $35 worth of grain back, and, and so it wasn't real profitable. And somebody mentioned the possibilities of having stratified uh, nutrient levels. And uh, so we went in with a soil probe and uh, we're looking at the soil profile vertically, um, inch by inch by inch by inch, all the way down. And sure enough, I had nutrient stratification. The majority of my phosphorus potassium that was spread on top had stayed on top. And we'll, we'll put the chart up here on the screen so you can see it. And then down where the root zone is at, uh, the uh, nutrients have over the several years of no-tilling uh, have been sucked out. And so we have a depleted nutrient level uh, where the roots are at. And so what we wanted to do was find out, you know, is there a yield advantage to destratifying de the soil? So two years ago, we, we spread the fertilizer and on one of my fertility plots and we went in and uh, moldboard plotted. It was 0.6 acres and uh, leveled it off uh, in the fall and then we just no-tilled into it in, in the spring. And we found a uh, nine bushel yield advantage uh, to de-stratify in the nutrient profile. Now, did it come because we mixed the nutrients into the root zone or did it come from the tillage? I, I do not know. Um, so then we, we're in a corn soybean rotation and it's a fairly flat field. So um, last fall we spread fertilizer, chisel plotted in the ground, leveled it off and then we no-tilled into it uh, last spring. And we had a drought uh, pretty serious here during May and June. Uh, no rain at all and we had some rain in July. And uh, surprisingly enough, we, we had some pretty good crops this fall. Um, but anyway, we harvested those plots and uh, they visibly during the summer, it, it was, it looked really rough. Um, but we found this fall a 20 bushel advantage to de-stratifying the profile. So I always call this struggles with stratification because it is a real struggle. We all love the environment. But then again, if we spread the nutrients on the surface and we just leave them, then we run the risk that they're gonna wash down into the water in, in the Gulf of Mexico. If you do tillage to mix it. So we have two issues that we're working with this fall. Number one is uh, we take a certain number of acres that are fairly flat and de-stratify it, and that's what I'm doing today. Uh, we're chisel plowing with sweeps here. And uh, if you can watch some of the video, uh, you can see uh, that the soil's boiling uh, in the chisel plow here. We're trying to mix up that nutrient uh, profile to get it more even from top to bottom. And uh, then once we do that, uh, then we'll, we'll hit the restart button. And then uh, we're also doing some with the Soil Warrior and uh, we'll put that video up here for you too. Um, we're, we're blowing the nutrients down uh, right on top of the ground and we run three coulters, uh, no shank, and then we incorporate those nutrients and we're not putting in hydrosol uh, with the soil warrior uh, either. So uh, that's uh, the two issues. Destratify it and then what do we need to do in order to uh, stop that uh, so that it doesn't happen um, uh, anymore in the future. And uh, I, I'm, I'm optimistic about the uh, strip till thing, and I've done it before, and uh, back in the 90s, and uh, it worked pretty good, but it was mainly, you know, for anhydrous, uh, went on, and then uh, we would uh, plant right over the top of that track the following year. So we're, uh, I like narrow rows, but we're gonna be 30 inch corn, uh, into strip till, and then we're also going to have some 30 inch beans uh, strip till next year, so we'll, we'll learn quite a bit. But uh, on some of these other acres, we put some lime on, a lot of fertilizer, we're going to blend it all up and, and kind of restart. So uh, 
Anyway, let's uh, stop and then we'll get out here and take a look and you'll be able to see how we're mixing the soil and you can see it boiling in, in behind there and uh, I can show you the sweeps that we've got on the chisel plow. Uh, we're pulling it here today with the, uh, the quad track. It's a 600 horsepower tractor and this is a 15 foot Blenco. Uh, the, the shanks are on uh, 15 inch center so we've got plenty of tractor here. I'm, I'm not even using 50% of the horsepower and we're running about six mile an hour. So let's, let's give her a stop here and we'll have a look. So this is the old uh, Glencoe here. It's only 15 footer, uh, but you can see we put the sweeps on it and uh, they're designed for chisel plows. They're, they're real thick and it's kind of got a blunt nose on it, pretty flat, but we're, we're looking for the lifting action and the mixing is what we're, we're working on here today. And uh, so I can, you know, with my hand, I'm able to dig through the soil uh, down here. Now you can see the little bits. Uh, we spread lime out here, and uh, it's it's lifting and fracturing and mixing. And of course, the the faster I drive, the more mixing that we'll get of the of the nutrients here. The other thing with the with the quad track, I I can run it all the way in the ground. So uh, I'm measured here a little earlier. We're probably 10, 10 inches deep with the, the sweeps. But the idea is that we're taking all of those nutrients that were up on the surface and then we're going to blend them down here into the root zone uh, where they need to be. And that way, if we have a drought next year or low rainfall, uh, we'll have some nutrients, we'll have some moisture down there at that four to six inch level uh, for, the, uh, for the plants. So anyway, I, I'm uh, thankful that you took time to watch this video. Uh, I hope you found it educational. Uh, and you can make some use of it. But the number of farmers that are calling me this fall on my cell phone, and they're like, Marion, we, we took our soil tests and we got it back and we've got stratification and we don't know what to do. And I, I've been there and it's, it's a tough decision. And that's why we call it struggles with stratification. As always, uh, call me or, or text me uh, on my cell phone, 309-368. Uh, 1182. With that, uh, thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.